We're back here at Sunshine Teachers Training to welcome you to learning more about Montessori materials and Montessori education. Today we embark on a global adventure as we discover the Montessori puzzle map of the world. This captivating material not only engages children's minds, but also shapes their understanding of our diverse planet. Now, before I get into the details, let's take a moment to watch a demonstration of how to use the Montessori puzzle map of the world. In this video, you'll see the magic unfold as I teach my students how to use this material. Okay, Shinta, you remember we learned about this map? Now, I have a control map here. Okay. And we're going to match the continents, okay? I will start. Can I ask you to continue? Okay, now Shinta, we want to replace the continents back into the puzzle. I will start. Can I ask you to continue? Yes. Okay, Shinta, today you've worked with the puzzle map of the world and you've matched the continents to the control card. If you ever want to do this again, you know where it's kept. Would you like to help me tidy? But it's okay. This is Asia. Can you say Asia? Asia. This is Australia. Can you say Australia? Australia. This is Africa. Can you say Africa? Can you show me Africa? Can you show me Asia? Can you show me Australia? Can you give me Africa? Can you give me Asia? Can you give me Australia? Can you tell me what this is? Can you tell me what this is? Can you tell me what this is? Okay, so today we have learned the names of three continents. We've learned Africa, Asia, Australia. On another day, I'll teach you some more. Would you like to help me return the material? But it's okay. Can I so uh, we start, of course, with three continents. The names are difficult. So before we even get to this activity, we should be singing the continent songs, you know choose some songs so that they get familiar with the words they are not easy to say all right when we start teaching the 3pl we must always start with our home continent wherever we live so let's say this school was in brazil then south america would be in my first batch of three three um, continents and then we have to see um, which uh, you know what, what the children might be familiar with okay so most children here are quite familiar with Australia so we start with that children tend to know about Africa so we could go with that or if you feel in your class you know there is um, somebody who they, they are familiar with Europe then you would go with that okay so that's the way we go now let's say I have a French child in my class okay within my first three I will have Asia because that's where we live I will have Europe because that represents the child's culture, okay? 
then I can choose anything else. So you've got to be inclusive of all the cultures you have in your classroom. Are we good? Any questions at all? Sure. There are two presentations to this material. In the first presentation, we are matching the puzzle shapes of the continents to the control map. There is no mention of the names of the continents. We want the children to familiarize themselves with the shapes and the colors. In presentation two, once we have seen the children use this material on their own, that's when we introduce the names of the continents. The names are difficult, so you want to make sure that you've sang some songs, some continent songs and things like that before, so that the children are familiar with these words on their lips. Afterwards, you want to give children different kinds of activ activities like maps to color and label, maybe booklets of their own to make color the continent, write the names of the continent underneath. Children who don't always like writing, this is a great way to get them to practice their writing skills. Later on, we have an activity that takes away from just, you know, recognizing the shapes of the continent by color. This time we remove the color, all the continents are the same color and the children have to learn to recognize it by shape. When they're learning these wonderful things at such a young age, it sticks in their mind. We could always give them puzzles of anything, but isn't it more fun and more educational and more enriching when they're working on a puzzle map of the world? Now that you've seen the Montessori puzzle map in action, let's discuss the benefits and purpose. This material serves as an invaluable resource for introducing geography to young learners. The Montessori puzzle map of the world fosters a deep connection to our planet. It allows children to explore the continents, oceans and countries in a very tangible way. By manipulating the puzzle pieces and placing them in their respective locations, children develop spatial awareness and gain a sense of the world's geography. Not only does the Montessori puzzle map provide a hands-on experience, but it also cultivates cultural understanding and appreciation. As children explore the diverse countries represented on the map, they develop a sense of respect for different cultures, traditions, and languages. The puzzle map of the world shapes the child's understanding of our global community. It encourages them to ask questions, engage in research, and foster a lifelong curiosity about the world around them. This material nurtures a love for geography and empowers children to become global citizens. As educators and parents, we have the incredible opportunity to introduce children to the wonders of our world. The Montessori puzzle map of the world serves as a bridge connecting them to different cultures, continents, and natural wonders. It sparks their imagination, fuels their desire for knowledge, and paves a way for lifelong love of learning. Thank you for joining us today on this journey around the globe with the Montessori puzzle map of the world. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more Montessori content. And be sure to follow us on Instagram for daily tips and insights into Montessori education. Together, let's inspire and shape young minds. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day.